we saw the trailer for Up, which I thought might have been interesting, but it really just didn't blow me away like the actual movie did, you know. And I'm not sure if that's just because they had the lights on, or if they didn't use as much care in putting the trailer together or what, but, you know, I think we have to be careful about Stray Light, is what I'm getting at. Yeah. The actual trailer to Up represented better at home on my flat screen than it did in the theater that night. I'm not, yeah, I'm not too surprised on... So not even in a in a 3D projection format, it at, like the balloons and everything actually have depth off of the DVD. And I was Oof. like, that was kind of interesting, but then yeah. because I thought that that was really interesting, there was one thing I noticed was I, we're watching the trailer to it with the glasses, and everything else, and it looked no better than watching it at home. And then I also had the same problem with the trailer that I had during Ghosts of the Abyss, where they would have positive or negative parallax, and then they'd do a cut to a scene that didn't have the same parallax, and it's very disorienting. And uh, in Coraline, they were very careful to always kind of melt back to 2D before switching scenes. So even though there were yeah. a lot of fast <clears throat> cuts in the movie, it never made you seasick. Right. Versus Ghost of the Abyss, I mean, I was just, I had to close one eye when I was watching that stupid thing, because I was actually getting sick. Wow. I don't know if you had that, because you went, you and D went with us to see that. Um, yeah, I would agree that it was, it was a lot harsher. It was so. MTV style editing with Parallax, <clears throat> and you just can't combine wow. the two. Wow. Well, that's good food for thought then. So dissolve back to 2D before a transition, and we'll have less of them, uh, I, I think. I was particularly bummed that they turned the lights on at the end because I think that was some of the biggest parallax. Like, they figure you're on your way out anyway. We'll just kind of throw yeah. everything at the audience, yeah. almost literally. <laughs> so I could see where there's a potential for really cool effects, but the lights ruined them. So. Right. Oh, well. There were, the opening sequence was incredible. and that, Do you agree, Tom? I think you mentioned the same thing in, in the email. Um, that one uh, shot, I'm thinking of in particular, when they were sewing the button and the, and the needle comes. Uh, it was just, uh, the detail detail and the clarity and the sharpness you know mixed with the parallax was just incredible so yeah. it's just exciting technology to be a part of they did a lot with depth of focus too you know? yeah like it, it would be a 3d scene but the background would also be blurry so and that we're not focusing on at least for year one as much we're trying to keep everything just in focus think thinking based on the conversations with dti that that's the way to go for for 3d to keep everything in focus throughout the whole depth but it might not be the case seemed to be used sparingly, so it wasn't something yeah. applied in the whole movie. You know? Yeah. It is a great effect, just in films across the board. And we can actually add that in V-Ray, depth of field, just the same way you add motion blur. It's the same thing, though. Every every layer, every pass is a whole other render. Mm -hmm. So instead of rendering each frame once, you can render it up to 20 times. <laughs> just adding depth of field and, and motion blur and all this stuff. So, in any case, there we go. So thanks for that update. Any yeah, questions? I wanted to add a couple of quick comments. Um, if you guys have seen 3D movies before, you know, generally with the, uh, the red and the green uh, lenses, it's, it's kind of hard to really get a sense of what's going on, and, and you have to be alert, otherwise your mind doesn't put it, my mind didn't put it together well when I was sleepy, etc. These, the glasses are very comfortable, you know, mm -hmm. feel free to put them on or whatever, um, and they just work. Mm -hmm. and, uh, most, a lot of that movie did have, you know, depth. Mm -hmm. You're looking at a movie and yeah, you, you can tell there's depth in 2D, but 3D you can really sense the depth. It's, it's, it's more like real life. Um, and, and then when they brought, you know, the needle and the, the few things that they, that they brought right out to your face, no matter where you were sitting in the audience, it was right here. You know, so it's, uh, it's definitely cool stuff. Um, but, it, but it's comfortable and it's, uh, it's, it's, you know, pretty easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So... Thanks for uh, letting us know about it, and uh, you know, glad I had the opportunity to see it. Okay, unless anybody else has any other questions, we'll uh, we'll move on with uh, motion platform.